Hi, good morning, Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, I am going to be using the Parvati Palace um, deck in regards to love messages. Um, this is going to be for Pisces that, are, and if this is not your reading, go ahead and click off now. Um, but this is going to be for Pisces that are steadily in the comments saying that this person has left me for a third party. I think there is a third party involved. This is not a personal reading, okay? And if my readings trigger you in any way, um, that's a good thing. But at the same time, if you feel like a victim and you feel targeted in my readings, the only thing I can advise for you to do is to get counseling um, or, or to get a personal reading because it, it, it really shows that you're a victim, you know? And if you're living in that mentality, you're never going to be happy. You're never going to find peace within yourself. I don't care how you try to word the comments to make it sweet and nice. You're still a victim. Okay. You're a victim to your own circumstances. Everyone knows me who do readings with me, who rocks with me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an awesome person. I don't need anyone to tell me that. And I'm not judgmental at all. <laughs> never. Okay. I'm a fun loving person. I have demons. We all have demons. We all have issues. We all have shit that happened to us, but I'm not a victim to that circumstances and I will not accept it. So when I do my readings, if you get triggered in any way, it just goes to show that, you know, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, Pisces, okay. You know, don't, it's like when you're listening to readings, it's like people who feel like, oh, you're, it's, it's just simple. People get out of my comments and they tell me, oh, I feel like a personal reading. You're talking directly to me. Some people can feel like someone is talk, talking directly at them. And when you start feeling that way, that's something that you need to heal in yourself, baby. That's your insecurity. You can fix that, deal with that. You can get you a personal reading or you can get you a counselor. Um, but yeah, that's all I can say to you about that. And if that triggers you, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. Thank you. All right. So Pisces, for the people who feels like there's a third party involved in a situation, for the people who feel like there is a third party or you know that there's a third party, I'm going to be giving you love messages in regards to how this person feels about you and love messages in regard to them, that third party. OK, so let's see here. OK, we'll take five cards when it comes to Pisces. All right. Five cards, love messages, your person would like for you to know in this moment. You make me feel alive. You, okay. We have you make me feel alive, um, Pisces. That's their um, message to you. Over our energy is you will leave me. You will leave me. So, I feel like you trigger this person. I just started talking about that. You trigger this person, Pisces, is what I feel. You really make this person feel things or see aspects about themselves that they're not really ready to confront or deal with. And because of that, it's like, you will leave me. It's like abandonment issues. I mean, oh my God, it's so many things here, you know, certain things here, insecurities. I mean, you will leave me. I mean, there's like a lot of insecurities here. I really feel like you really bring out something in this person that they have been uh, like is stifled within them or they haven't been confronting. So you make me feel alive is just really, I feel like it's just energy where you, 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 you kind of like awaken this person to something about themselves their own issues. So this to me seems like this is your soulmate connection, or this could be a soulmate connection you have with this person, because that's what soulmates do. We come in, we heal, um, we bring light to certain situations. It's, it makes you uncomfortable, you know, with yourself. And I feel like you do that to this person. Yeah. You will leave me <laughs> again. You will leave me. Gosh, you make this person feels very, I feel like you really make this person feel very uncomfortable in some way, but then you make them feel good too. They obviously feel, wow, they feel triggered. You threaten them in some way, but it's not in a bad way. It's just that something that they can't, I don't feel like they can handle it. They can't handle it in some way. Tell me some more. What is the love messages here? Yeah, I can't trust you. You trigger this person. It could be in a good way. It could be in a positive way. Um, this person feels like 
Wow. This person may even feel like, um, cause they right here, it says I belong to you. So this person may even feel like, like really you bring out a lot of trust issues in this person. Pisces, I'm not going to lie. This person feels like, you know, um, what you're saying, like they can't believe what you're saying. So even if you tell this person, I love you, I really care about you, I really want things to get better, I wish that we can be on the same page, I'm not here to try to hurt you, blah, 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 blah. I feel like they don't trust that. They don't trust it. <laughs> Tell me more. It's like they can't believe that you're a positive person or that you're that you're wanting things to be positive. I I have financial issues. I have financial issues. This could be something in regards to their finances. They may not trust you in regards to their finances or something here. Tell me more. I'm scared. Yeah. I just told you that you triggered this person. I'm scared. It's like this person feels like you're going to try to fucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? OK, this person really feels like you are um, manipulating them. I'm not going to lie. This person feels like you're manipulating them in some way. Yeah, they feel like you're trying to manipulate them into doing something. You know, maybe marrying you, maybe being with you. Like, they really feel like you're, I feel like this person really feels like you're manipulating them or you're being a manipulator or like an emotional manipulator in some way. Like, they really do feel this way. I feel like a part of them really wants to believe that you're not going to do this because you, <sighs> Pisces. Yes. Like, you make me feel alive. I don't know why I heard just leave me high and dry. So really, this person feels like you're going to rob them of something here. You know what this is. This person really feels like you're going to rob them of something. This could be something that they've already experienced before um, with someone else in another relationship and another connection. But why do it's like they truly feel like... Um, it's like, it's so weird. You make them feel good, but then at the same time, they're scared of the feelings. They're scared of wanting to feel another way about you and then only being let down or disappointed. Not sure if they can trust you because they feel like it's like one of those things where they feel like you're only after them because of their money or they feel like you're trying to cause issues for them in some way. So they really don't trust you in regards to their finances or in regards to their security. They don't feel secure here with you. For some of you guys, it is finances. For some of them, they feel like you are, you, you're you going to leave them because they don't have what it takes to support you financially or they're not good enough for you because of their financial situation. So they really feel like you may be um, judging them. But again, you're not judging them. That's their own fucking triggers. That's their triggers. That's their insecurities. And I keep saying that. I just said that in the beginning of this reading. Okay, so let's see. What are their messages to the third party? Betrayal. Betrayal. I'm angry at you. So I feel like this person is not really happy with the third party. I feel like the third party is who the fuck did this to them. I feel like the third party is who has put a lot of these insecurities here in their head. I feel like maybe that person left them because they didn't have enough financially or that person did something to them in regards to their finances or fucked them over in some way because this person really feels like you're going to fuck them over. Tell me more. Yeah, you you were created just for me. <laughs> you were created just for me. They feel really, they feel like this person um, like is the one for them. Yeah, I want you. I feel like they 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 really wanted this person. They really wanted things to work for this person. I mean, they thought this person was just perfect for them in every way, but I feel like that person let them down. Yeah, I can fly. I feel like this person felt like they could achieve or beat anything here with this person because I feel whole with you. I feel like this person really felt like they could have achieved anything with this person. They could have like, you know, 
just went so far with this person, um, done so much with this person. They felt like they could have built with this person. They really feel like they could have been anything or anyone in this world, like when, when they were with this person. Tell me why. Yeah, I'm too immature. I'm too immature. Um, over our energy, I feel empty. I really do feel like this person left them on E. Oh, why do I feel like this person, um, I'm not seeing that there's any growth or abundance with this person. I feel like this person really left them empty. Tell me more. You are my soulmate. Yeah. I can't commit to you. Okay, you are my soulmate. It's like this person really thought that they had a good thing with this person, but they felt but they were betrayed in some way. And they feel like you're going to do the same thing, Pisces. I feel like you make them feel because you make me feel alive is what they're saying. So you make them feel the same way as this person, but they're scared. You trigger them. They're scared of this feeling like, hold on, this is a familiar feeling. Um, and this person is just going to do me like this person because this person was my soulmate. It's like they're scared to trust you, to love you, to be with you. This person has trust issues. They may even have insecurities. They may feel like they're not good enough for you. And then the reason why they're feeling this way is because of this other person here. Um, because they really thought that this person was perfect for them. One card here. What's the message this person? I need to get Pisces in regards to how, yeah, very soon. Clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. So I feel like this person is scared to make a decision here in regards to you or what they want. They may not be sure what they want, but they need to make a decision. They know that when it comes to this other person. Yeah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So yeah, there is triggers. There's triggers in regards to what they deserve in love. Um, I really do feel like this person is very cautious of the situation because of this other person. I feel like they're, they re, there's red flags here when it comes to the third party. Um, they know that this person has like affected them in some way. Tell me more about the third party. Yeah, deception. I feel like there was a deception. This person deceived them. Um, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and pay attention to the red flags. The third party just de deceived the fuck out of them. It was very codependent here. Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. It's like this person thought that this person was their soulmate, but really they may have been like a karmic or like something in regards to, yeah. <sighs> okay, when it comes to you, yeah, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they're trying to make a decision if they want to be single or if they want to be in a relationship with you. But damn, like you really trigger the hell out of them. <laughs> They're running away from you. Look in the card. They're running away from you. You're just trying to love them. They're running away. The other person is really their biggest issues, but they're making their the issues or the situation right here. They're creating this issue here with you as if you're going to do the same thing to them. Yeah, see codependency again when it comes to this person. Give me one more card. Because you know what? Yeah, let your friends help you ask and ask for and accept support from others. So I kind of really feel like this this person was not who they said they were to this person. <clears throat> <clears throat> Very soon, love yourself first uh, for you. Yeah, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. That's the issue with this person. They're, they're afraid because of their past.
And I feel like there's another, there's this third party in their life that really still is somewhere in their life that really kind of disguise themselves as, you know, I'm your friend or I still want to be there and be your friend in some way if you will let me be in your life. And so there's another, the third, the third party is still in their life. The third party is still in their life pretending to be a friend, keeping them around, um, acting like they're trying to support or help this person through something. But in reality, it's really causing this person confusion. Okay, in regards to making a decision towards you. Let me get one more. Yeah, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your spiritual upbringing. And okay. Your love life is influenced by your religious and, up and spirit, upbringing and spiritual past. So yeah, um, you're the new person. You're the new love in this person's life. Um, a new person has started romantic feelings, but you, but they're being influenced. Okay, like they're letting things influence how they feel about you. All right, this other person influenced it. One card upright. Yeah, I'm requited love. There's not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going. And that's what's going on right here. See, this is messed up. The third party is like kind of still somewhere in their life, disguising themselves, not in a romantic way, but as a friend. But it's really causing this person to still have these desires of chasing this person, knowing that still they're not getting what they need from this person. And that's what it looks like. It's unrequited love. This person does not love them the same or love them back in the same capacity in the same way. They're like, you know, we're just friends, but you know that this person really loves you or you know that this person still has emotions and feelings for you or always thought that you that you guys were perfect for each other or whatever. So why are you staying around this person, causing this person more confusion? Because that's what's going on, okay? And then someone like you, Pisces, come into their life you make them feel alive again. You make them feel like, oh my goodness, what is this feeling? Like you really make them feel good. And now they're triggered and they think, okay, you're just going to leave me. I can't trust you like this person. You know, I'm not good enough or you're just going to, you know, uh, use me for my money and blah, 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 blah. So they got all these negative feelings about you, but that's not who you are. Okay. They were betrayed by the other person. <sighs> And it's weird because they're still keeping that person around. So, yeah, Pisces, that's what I'm seeing. 